everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the next Disney animated feature film to be released, Raya and the Last Dragon. A new promotional image just dropped for this movie and I love it. It is amazing, flawless, perfect, so I thought I'd talk about it today. This movie was first announced at the D23 Expo in 2019, which I was lucky enough to attend, and I thought I would tell you some more details today. Here is what we know about the plot so far. I apologize in advance if I pronounce anything incorrectly. <laughs> the film is set in a fictional fantasy ancient civilization called Kumandra. This land is inspired by Southeast Asian culture, so it includes countries like Malaysia, Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, and Cambodia. This civilization greatly respects and worships dragons, and it has five clans which form the land of the dragon. However, the dragons are long gone, and the land has been invaded by a dark, sinister force. A lone warrior, Raya, is determined to find the last dragon, Sisu. But unfortunately, the last dragon isn't actually a dragon. She's a human and will need Raya's help to transform back into a dragon and save the land. Cassie Steele is playing the role of Raya and Aquafina is playing the role of Sisu, the last dragon. I am not familiar with Cassie Steele's work, but I love Aquafina. I thought she was great in Crazy Rich Asians and Ocean's 8, and I think she's going to bring some amazing comedy to this movie. We don't know just yet who else is in the cast, but we do know there is a young boy character that I presume is Raya's brother. He was featured in the footage at the D23 Expo, but we have no idea who was voicing him. The movie was originally scheduled to release in November of this year, but due to an annoying global pandemic, it is now being released released on March 12, 2021, and Seoul has taken its place. Seriously, people, wear your mask, don't go outside, because I would like these movies to be released. Since D23, we haven't really got a lot of new information on this movie until now. Disney has just released its first major promotional image for the film. I'm going to break it down. First up, I want to talk about the main character, Raya. I absolutely love the look of this character. She looks so photorealistic. More realistic than any other princess, in my opinion. I also really love her outfit. It seems really true to the Southeast Asian culture, and I love that hat and vest. Most importantly, she looks like she's gonna kick some ass, which I'm down for. The second most important part of this poster is the dragon cloud that you see in the sky. This just looks so magical. I love it. I really hope that an official trailer is coming soon so we can see the dragon fully animated. The concept art is really cool and I already know I will be buying a stuffed dragon and probably several pins. <laughs> Disney, you are sending me broke. The third notable part of this image is the stone building on the left hand side, which I presume is some sort of dragon worshipping temple. Now the footage from the D23 Expo featured Raya and her younger brother searching for something in a dark building, which I presume is this temple. At the end of the clip they found the dragon there, so this is going to be a very important setting. Lastly, I want to talk about the magical blue plants. These plants kind of give me an avatar vibe and also kind of look like the wisps from Brave, so I presume Merit is showing up in this movie, right? Okay, probably not. I presume these plants are providing some sort of path to the dragon temple, as it has blue vines covering it. Anyway, do you guys like this new promotional image? Let me know in the comments down below. Please like this video if you liked it, and please subscribe. It would mean so, so much to me. Bye now. Have a magical day.